Okie dokie. Not sure if anybody's here yet. <laughs> it's been a while. Didn't even make a video saying, hey, I'm gonna be live streaming. But I'm reloading Twitch because it says I'm offline still. Now I have ad. I may have to make something though. Just to be like, hey, I'm doing it again. <laughs> but, yep. Hmm. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see how if people can come. It's been a while. Oh, hey, Rain! What's up? Larry! <laughs> welcome, welcome, everybody! Hi! It's so good to see you guys again. I hope all my settings are correct. It's been a while. What's up, you guys? I missed you guys. My regular streaming couldn't happen while I was on crappy hotel. Wi-Fi. Thank you. Welcome home. Thank you. It's nice. I have to leave again on Monday, but you know. So, Matt Flesh, hello. Hi, guys. Hi. Hey, Rain, I just got your message, by the way, about trying out the multiplayer. And if you want, like, hit me up with some times. And uh, I'll play with you. I'm I haven't played it yet, so it'd be cool. We could even live stream. You mean you could play and we could live stream. Might do that later, maybe, but I figured I'd do some Inquisition. Since I haven't even touched the multiplayer, and I'll probably do it real bad. <laughs> uh, I, uh, the game already, uh, the regular game, I'm like, I didn't even know how to sprint until like 20 hours in. So, that makes me feel stupid. Well, let's get this going. Play for a bit. Sorry, I'm running a little late. I I I, I, I uh I the, I set the fire alarms off this morning when I was making pancakes. See, and I never played the multiplayer in Mass Effect Three. <laughs> the only multiplayer I've ever really played is Overwatch. We're back together. Tetra Ninja's auto hosting, and so is Black Femme Geek. Thank you guys. Thank you. It has been. It's been too long. It's been too long. It's just when I'm out, I, my Wi-Fi might be able to handle it at the at the hotel. It's actually a pretty good hotel Wi-Fi, to be honest. But um, uh, it's really weird times. Like I legit could only stream really late in the evening for me, or really, really early. And so I just I'm, I don't know. I don't know. What? There wasn't anything beeping, Talon. You, you've lost your mind. You've lost your mind. All right. I think we got. I think we just gotta jump right into the Vitasala thing now. I think we did everything. Man, it's been a while since I've played this game. It's good to see you guys, though. I miss, I miss playing with y'all. Let's see if I remember how to play. I've been playing Andromeda so much. Let's see if I remember how to play Inquisition. Bring... Yeah, this is who we were bringing? Yes. More pathways are farming! Basically, you choose between different class of characters and with a group of up to four players, fight against a wave of enemies, completing objectives. Yeah, I finally, um... Did... In the main game, I did the strike team operation things. Oh, that's right! I'm wearing this armor! Yeah, we look legit. Oh, my gosh. Um, but yeah, I noticed that some of those strike teams won. There's a couple that have options to be done in multiplayer. So, I thought that was kind of cool. 
I see you guys running around. Oh, sorry about that. Stream might have dropped for a second, but should be fine. Except now the mouse is in the way. All right, looks good. Everything looks good. Let's go. I'm not making any sound while running. There we go. Okay, there we go. Can't use you. But I can use you. The characters can level, you can level up. You can get better gear and unlock new characters from different races. Okay. I, I'm intrigued to try it. I mean, Overwatch has definitely made me a little more amenable, amenable to playing online games. Because normally I don't give a diddly, diddly squat dealy about them. But yeah, I might, we might, I might try later. To be honest, play, play a little bit of Inquisition and then try some multiplayer. Of course, I haven't done the. There was apparently that. I mean, there was a big patch that came up, and uh, it affected multiplayer and single player. And I haven't, I haven't gotten that yet. Like I haven't, I haven't allowed that update to happen yet. The Mighty Quint! Hello! Welcome! Punches to you all! I know, sub, or sub, the, the subby or... Oh look! More demons <laughs> are to clean out! Subby and the movie are, are not, I'm not here, but... That is fine. I haven't done this in ages, so... Don't be, don't be aiming your arrows at me like that! Uh, wow, that guy, he just had it like a seizure. Whoa. He's having a cow. Is that it? Slayer, it's a great axe. You're still a bit broke. Some man flesh. Yes, no, be patient. Apparently there's, um... A uh, couple, there's gonna be an update. The one in two months is the one that's supposed to change the male romance or update, improve. I think improve was the word they used. Improve the male romance uh, options. Which I think means, oh, no, I can't tell you. You haven't played it yet. You, you don't want any spoilers, so. Woo, I did it! I am not wearing this, though. I'm not wearing it because I just realized that the whole me wearing those things is, is silly because I'm not going to wear the main dress. Because it's a dress. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. If I was a dude and I was, well, even playing a dude, I would have been very upset about this because this is a dress, basically. I mean, I don't know. It's kind of robe-like. But look how skinny Talon's arms look. I don't like it. I don't like it at all. I didn't even really like it on Erica. And she's a girl. Slayer by Iron Bowl. Oh hey, dude, really? Um Hmm. Eh. Tal is awesome, thank you! Yes, I mean, you go wait. It's gonna be out. Yeah, wait at least until the next patch. I think. Well, they're gonna be rolling out a couple patches. I think, but I think the one in a couple of months they said is gonna improve the options. The patch is around one gig. Oh man, I hope I have enough room for it. <laughs> this this little the little computer I play it on doesn't have enough doesn't have a lot of room to start with. That's okay, though. Thank you. I do like I do like Talon's new armor. Looks pretty rad. Uh, why why do you look so good in basically everything, Talon? I can't even handle it. I wasn't thinking I'd like it for him, but I do. I do like it. Let's make sure my accessories are right. I wanted the amulet. Yes. Okay. Good. 
as much as I like the other stuff, the like the special, the 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 skin stuff, the taken shape stuff. If I'm not gonna wear the full armor for it, then there's no point. Well, there's little point in wearing the bits and pieces of it. The the dress only fits Canari Inquisitors, really. Okay, Gertrude, hi. <laughs> You're at school getting makeup done for your drama performance next week. Nice. You get doing like a rehearsal type thing. That's awesome. Well, hopefully nobody minds that you're listening to a screamy lady in the background. <laughs> well, now we have all the Taken Shape stuff, so that's sweet. Got those schematics. Try to not fall off. I, I think it's only, I think the crossroads are only this colorful for an elf. Like, not, not even just, like, the trees and stuff, but I think the patterns in the sky... I think they're only like that for Elf Inquisitors, which is cool. This game really was made with a, with an eye for an Elven Inquisitor. Kind of wish they'd done more for, especially for dwarves, because they've been in the games long enough, and we don't have a ton of lore about them. And Descent was not what we wanted it to be. This is my favorite place, by the way. Favorite place. Hmm. Letters appear to shift slightly out of the corner of the eye. Alluvian marked by a bookshelf. This should be it. Good. Time to get some answers from the Vitasala. It'll be cool to have bull around. Place has no bottom. No one's to go near that mirror. Let's see, am I right be? Yeah. A map of the crossroads. It's rehearsal here. Elves! Some man flesh! Instead of learning the lines you watch me play with this, yeah, yeah! They just start quoting, just start quoting Dalish stuff all of a sudden, you know? Just in the middle of your play, just be like, and then Solus said, I bet you have questions. And I said, you bet your butt I do, and slapped him upside the head. <laughs> Uh, you bet your elven thighs I got questions, Solas. <laughs> uh, don't talk to me about his elven thighs. <laughs> oh, my mark is so glowy. Elven library. It definitely saw a massive magical backlash some time ago. Let's hope we can track down the Vidasala in all this. Verdurthara. And I guess last time I played this, I didn't... I don't think when I started Trespasser, I'd started playing Origins yet. But I did... I named my... My warden, my, my elf mage warden, Durthara. And at the time, it was because I was going through the list of Dalish words and, like, trying to pick out a name that I thought would fit my idea for her. And I picked Durthara because Durthara means seeker of knowledge or secrets, which is actually, it's why it's, it's, it's basically the word is based in the word Durthaman, right? Who's the god of secrets and knowledge and stuff like that. Um, and so that's why I chose it. But then I found this and, and I realized later, I was like, oh my gosh. I'm like, how cool. Cause I know a lot of people, like some people have head cannons for like their warden Especially an elven warden finding out the uh, about the crossroads here and about what's in the alluvians, and I totally think my elven inquisitor or my my elven mage warden she heard about this place and when she heard about what the library was called she probably she keeps she's very stoic right but on the inside she's probably just like jaw dropping like oh my gosh and like she had to go and she's I guarantee you she came here somehow somehow she found a way to get here and was just. Her happy little mage heart and her little elven heart were just bursting, but also very sad, you know. But still, it would be so cool to find a place that validated your name, sort of, you know. Uh, okay, I can add you as friends on Origins so we can try to play multiplayer sometime. I'm gonna write down your name. I'm gonna write it down. If I can find a writing utensil. But no, this place, this place is really cool to me. I think it's very neat. 
and maybe I'm mis misremembering something or other, the order in which I discovered out, discovered what these all meant, but knowing the library was named Dorthara and that my scholarly elven mage warden who did her best to, you know, connect with her roots in whatever way she could, if she heard about this place, I guarantee you she'd come, you know? And my warden technically is still alive, even though she's not in this right in right now, because I didn't, at the time I hadn't finished, I don't think I'd finished Origins in 2. Maybe I did. I can't remember. I have terrible memory. I know I feel really stupid sometimes playing Andromeda, because, like, there are some things that, like, I just don't remember or see, and everyone's like, you know how to sprint, right? And I'm like, ha, ha, ha. Like, like, I feel really dumb sometimes. Just, just me showcasing how I don't pay attention to things. But, the reality, ink. Levity! <laughs> Welcome, Levity! Uh, thank you. It's awesome backstory. Thank you, Summer Flash. You love my warden. I love her too. <laughs> Let's see. Why are you a why is it why are you why was your face a monkey all of a sudden? That's hilarious. This is the first stream since I started uploading Andromeda. Just wanted to say it's great to see you blind. Thank you, Larry. It is good to be playing blind again. It's always fun to it is fun to figure out things on the go. But I've honestly played so far ahead that I feel kind of bad. <laughs> Uh, but this is about, I think this is, oh, this is about the, um, the forgotten ones, or the forbid the forbidden ones. Yes, they are forbidden from the earth, that is our right. So I think, some people think that, and I think this too, that, um, Solus mentions a war, right? He said first they were honored generals, then kings, then gods. I think the Evaneris were the generals in a war that, that cast out the forbidden ones. And then from there, they grew in power and stature and all that, but it's interesting to think about. Did I read that one? Groves of trees woven into enormous parks. I mean, you look at some of these books that we, the, book, the memory books that we see, and it, it doesn't all seem bad. I think things weren't always bad. I think the Evaneris let power go to their head eventually and then they had to be stopped but I think things weren't always bad alright and I think somewhere in the Verdurthara is yes yes the enchantment journal enchantment but see he obviously knows more than enchantment because he says the very private diary of Sandal Fetic do not read Enchantment! Enchantment! I had no idea what this was when I first played this game, but now I do. <laughs> At first I thought somebody had just lost their mind, like, in this area, but now I know it's Sandal. Hey, <laughs> hey. Uh, you chose watching my videos over learning my lines? Nice, Gertrude. I'm glad. Uh, the robots have become sentient. Planet of the Ape. What? Ah! <laughs> there are murals of Lyrium Warrior Elves, which I think they used in their war, and you're hoping it means you'll see more broody Lyrium Warrior Elves. Woo! You too, Squirrel? You, you think, what you think about the, the Forbidden Ones? Is that what you think as well? Or, or was it something else that I said? Ha ha ha! You missed the streams, yay. You're like, oh, that's sad and a little funny. Oh, yeah, okay, I see, I see what you're saying. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, about Sandal. And then there's this, there's this Kanari here who's been impaled with his own weapons. It's like, ah! Superb corrupting rune and superb frost rune. Well, let's see, who do we... I don't think my, I think my bow... Yeah, oh, I could put a rune in it. Uh, let's put this superb frost rune in it, I guess. Sure. And then... I think... 
Tom reindeer, huh? I think Dorian's got one already. No, he doesn't. Okay, well... Dude, we could totally put... The corrupting rune on yours. Yeah, let's do it! Yeah, Dorian's gonna kick butt! Huh? Oh, just the modified weapons thing. You made about sandals that yeah, yeah, yeah. You missed my I'm glad. I know I might the thing is is like I'd like to stream when I'm out, if I when I can, like when the Wi Fi lets me, but it's just such weird times, like nobody could come probably. Like on the American or the European side. More ancient elven. If you wish, honored elven. I will speak so your guests. <laughs> she thinks I can understand. I thirst. Come, know what has not been lost. New words, new stories. The Kunari would not approach, but we learned their words as well. If you wish to exchange knowledge, they congregate by the lower gate. <laughs> what did the old elves use this place for? This is the Via de Thara. The living knowledge of the empire. The living knowledge. The libraries of every city. The wisdom of every court. A connecting place whose paths are in disarray. I mean, the, like legit, like things couldn't have been so bad last, like in, like, like they were. The thing is, like, if you read the the something, the empire, the book, right? Um, Felison, the slow arrow, tells Briala that, you know, he's like, well, who do you think cleaned the floors and scrubbed the privies and all this stuff in this beautiful ancient elven empire that you keep imagining? And she has to realize that it's other elves doing it. So there were slaves back then, you know? It wasn't this perfect idealistic society where there aren't any slaves or anything, you know? And, but, but they were able to do some amazing things back then and, like, there was so much. There was so much knowledge and beauty then, and it's a it's 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 a sorrow to have lost it. But it's important to realize that no society is perfect, you know. Oh, how long? I think, I'll be streaming for uh, at least three hours, I think, Lemon Z. So you should be good. You'll be out on the field at exercise next week, Rain. Me too. <laughs> You're on at five, Gertrude. Oh my gosh. You got Mass Effect 1 through 3, Gertrude. Nice! You're gonna love them. You're gonna love them. They're great. <laughs> Break a leg. Break a leg, Gertrude. Yeah. Break a leg. What put this place into disarray? The Vir de Thara was made with world and fade. When they sundered, so did we. Paths broke. Knowledge fragmented. Many were trapped. I preserved their last words. What were these old elves' last words? Where are the paths? Where are the paths? God save me. The floor is gone. Do not let me fall. Do not let me... On this spot, that is all. Thanks. Really paints a picture. Yep, it really... Like, in the fact that she says it's so monotone is just even scarier, you know? Lyrium slaves, you think, Lemon Z? Is that what the murals we see are? When the elves are all painted, are those Lyrium warriors? I actually didn't realize, like you said that, and I meant to say something, but I didn't realize that they made Lyrium warriors in ancient Arlathan as well. I thought they were just slaves, but yeah, I kept dependent. But uh, Fenris isn't dependent on Lyrium. He doesn't require Lyrium for for what he does. The floor is lava. Ha ha ha. Or is it not, is it Lyrium slaves, like, sort of like how the Templars are, where, like, they're addicted, but then there are other Lyrium warriors that are, that actually have, like, the Lyrium embedded in them? Makes you wonder why, because, because then, because we know that Lyrium is actually Titan blood, right? So, did the, and, and there are theories about the ancient elves and the Titans going to war, like, did they get, did they have Lyrium before this? Or only after the, the Titans were defeated and they started like mining Lyrium blood from the Titans? Or were they getting it beforehand and it wasn't enough or something? Like, crazy. I could learn so much about my people. What were they like? 
How long is our history? I will try to recall honored patron, but there are gaps, breaks, greetings, laughter, Emma and Nassau, forms out of air, light, memories. And yet there are so many broken parts at every missing, missing, missing. I cannot. I cannot. There is no more. Apologies. I knew all once. We knew. With the break, only fragments or knowledge knew since the fall. This really bummed me out. I was really hoping, like, I know you could spend, like, hours just listening to tales of, like, ancient elven tales or whatever, and they don't want to slow down the DLC or bog it down or anything, but it really would have been cool if we could have heard something, you know, and they tease us with the, oh, we could learn so much about our history, and then they're like, oh, just kidding, she can't remember, you know? Could be either or both. Daenerys found the ritual for Fenris from ancient elven ritual. Yeah, and maybe he might have modified it to make it so that Fenris wasn't dependent on Lyrium. Maybe. Or, I mean, that would be interesting. Or he just did it wrong. Because Daenerys didn't really know what he was doing. He, was, he, was, he did a lot of experiments that failed. So maybe this is actually technically a failed... Ex Fenris is a failed experiment in that he's not dependent on Lyrium to keep control of him. You know? I'm looking for a Kunari called Vidas. Seshu! Welcome! Welcome back. It's been a while. <laughs> she uses scholars and mages for study. They fear this place, but they seek to know the veil. I can't even imagine like the Kunari being here, like freaking out. I'm like, ah What does Vidasala want to know about the veil? I regret I do not have more information. I am sundered from myself. If you discover another one of me nearer the Kunari, I may know more. Kindly give it my greetings. I have not thought with myself for some time. Can't you move around, though, at all? Oh, sure, the floor is loud against a monotone voice, but then she forgets things and she panics. <laughs> it's true. We'll be going now. Know this. An unknown person, not of the Kunari, recently woke the librarians. An unknown person? She should have said he was an elf, and you'd think she would have known him. learning before the fracture, before the fall. Now, beware them. They are unwell. Yeah, well, freaking. Greetings. Now you come down to my level. Wisdom guide you. And you. Um. Look at this place! On that upside down island. It's so cool. There's books everywhere. Oh my gosh! Uh, I just I just used magic. Let's look around for more. The inverted alluvian must lead to the Kunari. I just basically did the magic thing. I shouldn't be able to do that. Okay, have fun washing your hair, Lemon Z. It, yeah, Lemon Z, exactly. How is Fenharel unknown? I'm like, you should definitely at least be like an honored elven dude came by, you know, or something. But no, Fenharel is, I mean, she's sundered from herself, technically, but still. Still. Uh, I'm trying to keep an eye out for secrets. More secrets. Is that is that death down there? Yes. Okay. You're busy with life and trying to follow my videos on Andromeda. Hee hee. Well, says you. Um, I hope you're enjoying them. I know I make a lot of mistakes, but I've been I've been in, I've been enjoying it. Oh. Did you notice? Your anchor is flaring up near magic. Elven magic. What does that mean? I'm not sure. Tell us if it gets worse. Dorian, help me. Help me, babe. Immensely tall, graceful vine that flowers at the heat of a copper sunset. Treasure this thought, for it was the last of its kind and so much more than the last of me. I mean, it's beautiful. Like, this stuff is beautiful. Like, that somebody was so invested in a life form that was 
the last of its kind that that they couldn't even they and all their knowledge could preserve you know what I mean so stuff like this that I really enjoy Do a battle of the champions One in gold, one in black. Oh my gosh! Wait a second, wait a second! Okay, okay, this is uh, the two armored figures. Mytho and her wisdom interceded in an argument between Algrenad and Valandim. They settled their agreements. Okay, so it wasn't Mythos champion. I wonder, I wonder though, if, um, if Elgorand or Fallon did hand champions, I wonder if every single god had a champion. And Mythol, her champion was probably Solus, Ben Harrell. I mean, one has the gold armor and the other one has black armor. But eh, that would be cool. That's a cool thought. That they all had champions of some sort. My videos are stream, yeah. Make sure I go back to the Deep Roads part for a Fen Harrell thing if I haven't. I don't have the explodey thing yet, so I don't think I can do that yet, but I will go back. Do -do 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 -do. Hmm, the unchanging world rings with its own harmony. So the the not the fade. The not fade. <laughs> By the gods. Find a private chamber. I remember that one. That was funny. I think... That's it for reading material. I think there's stuff hidden back here. Might be thinking of a different area. Nope, no, I think I think I'm on the right track for like a beehive schematic. Maybe. Nope, it's just an Olivian. Secrets. I'm gonna find all the secrets this time. Talon is a secret seeker. We're gonna find all the secrets. Okay. Let's go, let's do this one first, since we're down here. Wow! That was cheap! That was cheap. That was super cheap. Is this the ending one? I think it's the ending one, actually, now that I'm thinking about it. Because there's that spirit over there. That was cheap, game! Cheap shot! Fine. You can't even see when you walk out because of the angle of the, the camera. Oh, rude. Fine, I'll go to one of these. I think because that, because that, that... Spirit tells us some like last minute stuff before we go and see the Vitasala. So fine. We'll go to this one that has little horns on it. Broken tower. Oh, yes. And I think we have to light all of these eventually. There's like a secret up here if you do it right. Oh, hello. These canari are dead, but there's not a mark on them. Look at their eyes. They died in fear. Well, you can't die, you know, straight from fear, but you could definitely be scared when you die. They got exploded or something. They got their brains, their hearts exploded. Yo! Oops! That was not what I meant to do. I, I've been playing Andromeda where every interaction is with Y. Welcome. Welcome. Listen to the last words of those who lived past the fall. 
How could the dread wolf cast a veil between the world that wakes and the world that dreams? The Evanuris will send people. They will save us. When have you last heard from the gods? When the veil came down, they went silent. What is this veil? What has Fenherel done? Are these records saying Fenherel created the veil between our world and the Fade? They're saying some guy just made the veil? We must have been ass deep in demons before then. If it's true, that means the Fade and the Waking World were once one in the same. Yeah, that means the Maker didn't make the veil. How exciting. Is the thing that lights them down there? Or do I have, I think I might have to bring the veil fire. Yeah. I have to like bring it across Luvians. Ryder got spiky armor and knew I, ooh, what? I did know that the, that Ryder got, that uh, all the humans in Asari got new eyes. Oh my gosh. Okay, that armor looks like the remnant armor, though, that I, I was actually trying to make the other day. I was trying to make, but I, I have, like, I don't quite have enough uranium. I don't know where to get your... If you guys know where to get uranium, let me know, because I couldn't find any uranium anywhere. I am looking forward to the eyes, though. Nice, Gertrude. I'm looking forward to the better eyes. I, have, I haven't even checked it out yet. It happened, well, the, the update was released on the day I was driving and I haven't even played yet. I did, I was trying to make some remnant armor earlier, but, or the other day, but I didn't, yeah, I didn't have enough. Floating crap, magic mirror crap, evil demon crap. <sighs> this is like the fate, only with falling to your death on top. <sighs> when this is over, I'm gonna need somebody to hit me with a stick again. No. <laughs> no. I'm not sure whether I want that to be a metaphor or not. <laughs> Next time we get the gang back together, let's do a dragon instead. <laughs> Dragons are fun. <laughs> okay. Well, I'm sorry. I feel kind of bad bringing bull on all this stuff. Secrets. Um. I don't remember where your secret is. I think it's actually up there. Um, I'll do it. I'll do it in a second. Well, and it's interesting if these are actually murals that have Solus or Fenharel in them. That, like, why don't we see other murals? It's all just Solus everywhere. This looks like technical notes. What did the Kunari come here to learn? They're real technical. I can't make out any either. Something about magic. That's it. I recognize some formulas. The Kunari are trying to prove theoretical magic of some kind. Okay. Yo, Ida! Welcome back! It's been a while. Uh, and the dread wolf's gaze is bright light burns in a ring of the dead oh right okay so we gotta do it here just been dropping mineral probes wherever you can while driving yes th it's good to be back Ida. I did have fun with my job and everything it's a pretty boring area to be honest but you know you take what you can get And it was good. It was a very easy, like it was pretty flat by a river bank, you know. So it was, it was a good way to ease back into the session, you know. A wanderer who knows much of the people and their spirits. Yay, stuff I don't need. Secrets, secrets, secrets. Oh crap, I think I have to be... Uh... 
Do I have to be Dorian, or do I just gotta, or do I have to, I think I have to run back. Oh, sh no, okay, hang on, let's wait. I have to wait for it now. I think I have to run back and grab some veil fire and then come back. So let's give it a minute. Actually, I don't know. It might it might be wrong. I might be I might be wrong there. Uh Seshu, uh Andromeda is worth buying. Wait till later. Wait till later. You have ended up with your nanny gig again, Ida? Dang. I mean, you know, it is what it is, and it's good of you to be able to be willing to do that. Uh but yeah, no, Seshu, I would wait. The thing is, okay, the thing is. There's the the negative feedback is from people who have just seen clips of like the bad stuff, right? Probably. And there's some, there there was some there's some janky animations. Uh, they fixed they fixed the eye because a lot of the humans in Asari were just really creepy with the way their eyes stared at you. You know, apparently they fixed that. They they just released uh, yeah the other day they released a new patch fixing a lot of things. You know, the thing is is like the game is still being patched in a way, you know, um, and I've really enjoyed it. There's parts that are frustrating to be sure, but that's because it's a new game and I'm still getting used to it and it takes me a while, but I would wait to get it simply because in the next couple of months, they're going to be releasing some patches that really change the overall game, you know, like that seem like they're going to be adding more options in the character creator. They're going to be adding, I think, a couple more romance option type things. They're going to be fixing more animations, fixing graphical quality, uh, fixing some dialogue stuff, you know. So I would wait for a couple of months if you don't want to have to deal with that stuff. But I, I've liked it even despite that stuff, so. I can't remember. I can't remember to just jump. I just jump down. No, I don't jump down. Okay, no, wait. We can't. Go, 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 go. Broken tower, broken tower, broken tower. I don't have time. Yep, you're fine, you're fine, you're fine. Light the veil fire. Oh, come on. Come on. Did I do it? Or was I not supposed to light all of them? I can't remember. Ah! Did I run back now? Go, 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 go. Go, go, go. I'm sure it's like whatever his eyes have probably turned off at this point I can't quite remember what exactly you're supposed to do for that puzzle but okay so I didn't have to light all of them I just needed to get the veil fire ooh Okay, was there, was there like a rune though? I can't remember. Oh, uh, Lemon Z, Lemon Z is, oh, use your mark to light them. <gasps> I think you're right. I think you're right. Get to the, oh, good luck, Gertrude. All four babies start to sleep. Ida. Eldest one's on his PS4, nice. Yeah, yeah, Sashi or Larry, you agree with my verdict? Yeah. The game is good, but it will get better if you wait. I think you are right, though. I think, I, I mean, I got the thing. I don't know if there's another part to that puzzle, though, or I need to. 
maybe light them all with my ability. But I got the sword. What does the sword do? Rhyme. The way is full of tests and danger. Watch with the coolness of contemplation to stay safe. All weapon attacks deal cold damage. On hit, chance to deal cold damage in an area around the target. Cool. Where's Cassandra? Wow, it is not nearly as good as what you currently have, but... Whoa, it looks really cool, except for the fact that it... Oh, it's one of those enchanted weapons that, like, doesn't do anything until you start waving it around, probably. Here, let's give it, let's give it to her and see. Nope, wait. Cassandra. Yeah, it's like... Whoa, it's like invisible! It's invisible! I like it. Let's see. What does the damage do? 163. It's not very good, but let's keep it and see what it does. <laughs> Got an empty grip and an empty rune. Interesting. How am I enjoying my new job? It's really good. It's the, the area we're in is pretty boring, but, you know, it is what it is. Like, it's just nice to ease back into it, you know? To the circle and court coming, or Kornari coming to attack me. But yeah, that's, yeah. That, that's the, yeah, that's, that's, that's the image I have in my head, too. Uh, just so you guys know, my Twitch stream has frozen. I'm not gonna reload it, I guess, but, like, at least on the Twitch side, it's frozen, but hopefully it's working for you guys. Uh, hello, Grammy! Welcome! Welcome, Grammy! You don't mind. You'll allow, it'll allow you to finish a trilogy without Rush before, yeah. Yeah, Larry, maybe that's it, Larry. It, it's good, but after five years, we kind of wanted great. Like, it kind of just feels like another Mass Effect. And it's like, but I wanted something spectacular, you know? But maybe that's too much to ask. Apparently, it was a pretty new division of Bioware that was doing it, so... I don't know. Oh, shoot. I may have dropped... Okay, good. I didn't drop it. <laughs> I'm just standing there like a looby. Uh, do you do anything now? Do I go down here? Oh yeah, here's another walkway. All right, let's get that one. These oh. blocks are heading toward that upside down alluvium. Creepy, helpful, but creepy. <laughs> Can we trust this magic? No. It's a place of learning. Maybe this Veer Dathara is helping us find what we need. Now it's even weirder. <laughs> That's a cool idea, though, that, that the actual place is, like, sentient enough to, like, help you. You know what I mean? Like, it wants to help you. Um... How do we get out of here? How do we get out? Go this way? Yeah, nope, not that way. It's not down there. You and your middle nephew like Inquisition, especially the Canari. The Canari with big dudes with siege hammers. Yeah. They're they're terrifying. Trust everything. Embrace the cosmos. Why not? Why not? Let's see. Oh, hey! Hang on. Oh, that didn't work. Okay. I'm actually trying to put this down and it's not letting me. Why won't you let me put this down? Oh no! I'm, I'm trying to fire. Okay, there we go. I have to get hit or something. Jeez. Whoa, explosions. Explosions everywhere. I'm not gonna use my jumpy flippy attack because it'll probably kill me. Yay. Okay. Let's try. Nope. I feel like, though, 
that I, I was supposed to light these. Maybe that's later? I don't know. Might be later. The problem was bad logic, like building colonies on worlds with a clear enemy presence. Similarity between the Ket and the Reapers and the generic side quest with arbitrary rewards, like the AVP points. I did get a side quest that was like, just gave me like a couple points I could level up with, and I was like, thanks, I guess. Like, I, they said they learned from their Inquisition mistakes, which were having a lot of boring side quests, you know? But to me, it just seems like they added on, like, a kajillion trillion side quests that just kind of make you want to lose your mind. Like, seriously, and these side quests take forever. My, big, my biggest pet peeve so far... Oh shoot! I got an I got an upgrade. Discharging the anchor now deals damage to nearby enemies. Inquisitor, we must look at your hand. The pain stopped. Being all stoic, Talon's stoic. He won't let it stop him. I think these actually explode too. If you're uh, if you're doing it. But uh, no, yeah, there was one there was one side quest in Andromeda that I had to do where I had to trace down this woman who was had a very virulent strain of a disease that had been woken up out of cryo early by her nephew and who didn't know apparently that she had this rampantly contagious deadly disease and everybody's panicking like all the humans because we're trying to keep on the down low right so that the, the humans in charge are panicking and they're like okay we gotta find this lady we gotta go find her fast so i'm like okay quick let's go and so i go out to chase her and then i had to go to like five different systems and trace her radio because her, her like her shuttles like leaking radiation i have to go trace in five different systems a radiation leak which is what you would do it's it's like it's like giving you the step i understand what it was trying to do it's like oh look you're tracing a radiation trail you know but it sounds a lot more interesting than it actually is because I just literally had to jump from unskippable cutscene galaxy to unskippable cutscene galaxy five times before I finally found this woman's trail on a planet. And then I had to go find her on the planet. And the planets are huge and they take forever to get around. And it took me like an hour just to do this one side quest. And I was like, are you freaking serious? Like, I understand that you want to make the quests more involving. But, oh my gosh, like, please just let me get this one done and move on to something else. That was frustrating. Uh, well, yeah, and the Kit and the Reapers do seem pretty similar. I, I don't, I don't know too much yet, but... The games are not bad themselves. We sometimes expect too much compared to what we get. Just got, just did that quest, Grammy. The nephew knew, he was like, eh. That's the problem with No Man, I mean, that's what happened with No Man's Sky, which honestly, if it had been billed as like an indie game, I bet people would have liked it a little bit more. But it was billed as like a triple A, massive open game world where you could do all kinds of really cool space stuff, like Elite Dangerous, but a little bit more involved and able to land on planets and interact with all these crazy cool alien things. But it wasn't what they told us it was gonna be, you know? Oh, there we go. <laughs> now we can, now we have the bee thing. Fade touch, tiny dome. Do you do, can I, I think I can jump to you. Nope, nope, I can't. Maybe if I got a little farther, let's see. Oh, cool, her sword like glows, look at that. She's like, she's like frosted in like freaking frost. <laughs> All right, can't get to that apparently. If I had my jump jet, I could do it. Nope. Okay, let me remember how to play the game. Stone Smith, welcome. Welcome, welcome, Stone Smith. Welcome back. You can't use the time for the bees weapon. Well, in rain, the bad logic of building colonies on worlds with a clear enemy presence. One of my problems is that even if I clear out an enclave of cat, they come back. And like the bandit camps, you can't just clear them out. 
they come back and I don't even I I I don't even bother with them. I just drive straight past them because I'm like, what's the point if I'm not actually gonna clear out the bad guys? I understand that they're there for like farming, like material and XP, but it's really, really aggravating when a main thoroughfare has a bandit camp or a cat camp that I can't actually clear out to make the way safe for everybody else. That bothers me. It bothers me that I set down outposts that are like 200 meters from an active cat zone. I'm like, why? 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 Why would we do that? I will find all the secrets. Except now I just lost myself and I don't know where I'm going. Oh yeah, it's just going in a circle. Is that it? Just the bees? We're just here for the bees? I mean, it's cool. I'm, I'm here for the bees. But... Anything else? Oh, further up maybe? Yes. I feel like there are some hidden runes around too, like Veilfire runes. Oh, hello! Hello! Wait, let's check this out. More dead canari, with terrified expressions. It's the librarians. Or they encountered Fenerel and just died on the spot. Set your size way too high, but it's Mass Effect. Right, you, you just kind of settled into what it is. Yeah, and that, yeah, that's kind of what I did, too. You just accept it for what it is, and it's not bad. It's just not spectacular. At least not yet. Who knows if they're gonna, the patches, upcoming, it seems like some of the upcoming patches are really gonna change a lot of things, so it might get spectacular, you know? Oopsie, I did it again. last words of those who walked this place. If we get out of here, <coughs> I will end Fen Haral. After he held back the sky to imprison the gods, the dread wolf disappeared. Lies. We must tear down the veil, the cities, the pathways. Without magic, they're crumbling. You're wasting your time. Fen Haral's veil has turned our empire to ruins. So the ancient elven empire collapsed because the veil weakened magic. If what we're hearing is true, this would have been a disaster beyond measure. Do you realize what this means? What this place is? The actual history of the elves could change everything. Yeah, we never seem to address that properly. Oh, see ya, some man flesh. Oh, and session. You guys gonna go eat? Nice, nice. Well, some man flesh gotta go walk. <laughs> Have a, have a nice dog walk. Stonesmith, you're maintaining your stance of not playing Andromeda until patch five. That's your standard Bioware policy. Interesting. I know, um, I was actually really glad with Inquisition that I ended up not starting it until like six months after it had come out. And pretty, like, like a month after I started playing it, they came out with the patch that let you dye armor and stuff. So that was nice, that was convenient. But then patch 10 was the big one that like uh, came with Trespasser and let you change your casual wear. But they do give you pretty decent options for casual wear in Andromeda. I like that. Dorian. Now that we have so many samples, how hard would it be to build alluvians of our own? No. <laughs> but think of the... Nope. <laughs> After these past few years, it would just be good to create something magical that is also helpful for a change. Is that wise? If I get around to it, I'll send <gasps> you an alluvian, Cassandra. Striking women can never <laughs> be shattered by too many reflections. <laughs> <laughs> if you get around to it, shall I be forced to accept it? <laughs> If they're gonna stuff me into politics, I've gotta have some fun on the side. 
<laughs> That's interesting, because last time I brought Dorian, Sarah, and Blackwall, and Dorian's dialogue was a little bit different. Like, you know, wouldn't it be fun if I could just pop in on you guys all the time and Blackwall was like, I don't think my heart could handle the fun or whatever. Like, you know, like, I don't think I could handle that much fun. And then, but then Dorian says if they stuff him into politics, you gotta have some fun. But Dorian, you better make me an Alluvian and we're, I'm gonna come visit you all the time. See, there's a, there's a, there's a rune. Uh, how far into Andromeda? I am not quite sure. I, I think I'm level 22 right now. You were, you were super lucky with your timing for position. They introduced the die thing right before you made it to Skyhold. And trespass it right after you finished the set and hack on. Nice, Lemon Z. Wow, yeah. Trespasser came. Trespasser and Descent, I couldn't play. I didn't get Descent anyway. But I tried to do it with Erica because they. I was able to play it right before I got Trespasser. But then I didn't finish it with her. Oh yeah, Harden Hightown. Is that, is this about Hawk? I think this is about Hawk, actually. Nice. I think if you have Varric with you, he says something about that, too. Those who have never manifested outside the Fade will find it easier to find its stillest roots, but it is rare the compulsion overtakes our brethren of the air. So yeah, they worked, I mean, they worked very closely with the spirits of the Fade. So the spirits of the Fade were separate. Like, there are some theories that maybe the ancient elves were just physically manifested spirits. But I think they were separate in many ways. Or maybe, maybe not. I mean, maybe the fact that they're brethren, maybe some of them stayed and some of them didn't. I don't know, it's interesting, the ideas. Oh yeah. Architects of the Grand Sonolium. In friendly debate over the color of the palace's roof trim as they murder each other. That right there kind of shows you how, you know, how silly things got. This is an interesting area right here. There's a bunch of little, uh, like, uh, oh, these are, these are Mythal statues. I think, well, here's the Fenharel ones. Here's the little Fenharel statues. And here's a bunch of little Mythal statues. And they look like they were intentionally chucked over the edge. To me, anyway. I don't know if they actually were, or if they're just there as like a little haha, -ha, look at you, you walked around here type thing, but. The Inquisitor gets a kinky sexting crystal. Hey, you know, you get that no matter what. So, since I'm dating him, he better come and hang out with me. He better make an Olivian to come hang out. I feel like there was almost more in here. Who lit the candles? Mm, who lit the candles? I need to get that off my face. I know, I know what to do. Except I don't, oftentimes. I don't, but you know. Uh, I don't think you could have coped with Inquisition before they added the storage. <laughs> Barrett gets really creeped out by it. That's what I thought. You were all the same, but the void existed, and that was different and dangerous. Maybe the veil shoved the spirits into the void and made the fate or something, and that's why the Golden City is black now. Dorian makes you go to him. He's too much of a diva. Yeah. I don't know. The theories for... I like that they give us a lot of hints, and we can kind of make like make ideas in our heads like there, there's a lot of paths that this information could take oh and this this was weird like i feel like i should be able to reach some of these islands but like there's just canari just chilling out right there like they're like stuck they can't do anything and it's kind of weird that we can't like acknowledge them like hey did you guys get stuck or what why aren't you chucking why aren't you chucking little pieces of sticks at me 
There's a couple little islands like that where there's just Canari sitting on them and you're like, what are you doing out there? <laughs> Did you get stuck? What happened? I really wish we could have some elven decor, it'd be nice. I can't remember what you get. I think that rune is just, it might be a secret actually for Solus, but I don't know how to see if I can find some veil fire and come back. Yo, Bruskies! I saw your little, hold on. Ah, I did some damage. Whoa, that was cool! Quick, while you're all clumped together. Get this one, he's almost dead! Hold up. Whoa! I did not use that enough before. And... Perfect. I saw you. Yes. The damage. All gone? Okay. I just saw that person's skeleton as it poofed away. Creepy. You guys really shouldn't be sending just small little troops after me. You should probably be sending entire squadrons. They are too proud to ask for help, I guess. Stonesmith, you missed it. I was trying to do that. The little spinning island with a writing desk on it. Yeah, it was right there. And I just tried to jump on it like twice earlier. And it was not letting me. And I don't, I think with Erica, I tried for a long time too. And I don't think, I, I, I might have gotten on it with her. And I'm pretty sure there was nothing on it. But I don't know. They tease us for sure. I get back out. I think I go down. I go down somewhere. Yes. These creepy murals. I mean, we've seen these all over. I kind of wish we could see more different murals. I mean, it makes sense to see the ones that we've already seen before, but I can't tell. I wish we could know whether some of these murals were during Arlathan or after Arlathan's fall if like this is sort of a graffiti that was done by somebody who came later to be like look we fell like like they're basically graffitiing their 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 ancient library you know like look this is how we fell or something but some of them are I think are pretty legit like from the time of Arlathan but I don't know Not just you. No, no, I definitely tried to. I def ah! I see you! Yep, yeah, scary as all crap! Oh, did that work? I don't know. Oh, crap. Didn't work? Slug! Jump away! I died! Okay, Cassandra, quick! No healing mist at me. Okay, good. Oh, dodge. Dodge. Dodge, keep dodging. It's got like a, oh, the bugs are on me. Oh, right, right. You gotta destroy the bugs. No! I'm stuck. Get the bugs off me. How do I get the bugs off me? Oh my gosh, why am I dead again? Where am I? I'm over... Am I over here? Uh, I can't see where I am! Uh, nope. Let's see. I think I'm over... Yeah, oh, I'm in the middle of falling. That's what I'm doing. I'm in the middle of falling. I see. I can kind of see myself. Okay. Uh. Move. Oh, what are the bugs? Get the bugs off me! Get them 
off. I can't do anything with the bugs on. Get them off me. Oh my gosh. Why can't I get the bugs off? They, they, something happened and they became very afraid. But they, uh, they're nightmare demons. They're, they're like the nightmare demons. Yeah. I would probably, if those were the librarians, I'd return my books promptly. I feel you. I feel you. How many, so many people were illiterate in medieval times? Uh, I bet you they were something else back in the day, but they are definitely now. Oh, I think. Some of the bigger explosions I had were from me exploding the Gatlock. Nice. I'm amazing. Uh, this might be a really big battle coming up again. So, let's save. Oh, I should have saved after filling my supplies, but whatever. Okay, it's not exactly where I thought we were going to be. All right, real quick break. Bathroom break. I drink too much water. I really should get armor or a weapon that gives me guard on hit. I think that's why my companions are li I know that's why my companions are living when I'm dying. Cuz I don't have a guard on hit armor or anything and they do they all do. So at least I kept them alive. Librarian or any things are much nicer. Sesha's bag. Kayuk, it's Kayuk's watching. Welcome, Kayuk. The Cerba of book, or the Cerberi of books. They remind me of like uh, Cthulhu. The arms allow them to put more books back on the shelves at once. I know it's very effect. It's actually a very effective. You just, we just cannot comprehend it. See, look, there's another one just chilling over there, like, like, hey, what's up? And I'm like, y yo, right there, guy? <laughs> Let's see. Oh, right, this is the way back. I gotta go up here. All right, now my dog wants in. Okay, doggy. 